I just wanted to talk and yeah, I guess one day I'll look back at this. It's January 21st. I'm 21. I'm getting my life on track. So I had such an emotional two months. I literally felt like my life was in shambles. This is the first time in my life that I'm truly trying my best and I'm not succeeding. It's, I don't know, I'm learning to deal with failure right now. I don't know, I still feel kind of meh, but I think that I'm growing and I'm learning. Today is December 4th of 2021. This year has been a roller coaster. This year has been a roller coaster. I am embracing uncertainty in a way that I never have in my life before. I feel like I'm present. I'm starting to come into my own as a person. So this is really exciting. One thing that I've learned between July, the last time I made a video um, diary and now is following my curiosity will never fail me and if not for my consistency and deliberateness in doing that i don't think that some of the opportunities that came my way or the opportunities that i found just would not have been in front of me i'm just i'm happy i'm grateful i'm grateful to be alive i'm grateful to um be in the process of discovering myself and leaning into my purpose and I just am so just I love myself I love my life and I'm grateful for the journey itself with the ups and downs so yeah and that is it for today um I need to my Domingo because it's gonna be day 84 and I'm trying my best to just have fun with making content. It's so weird to say that. Becoming more comfortable documenting my trials and my failures. Let's see how this turns out. Hi, my name is Annie Tong. what it means to not exert your own intentions into a place before you really receive it for what it is. This channel is an overflow of the dialogue that occurs in my mind, both in my wakefulness and in my sleep. And as I invite you into this intimate space, I have a formal request to all who engage with this content in any capacity. Think outwardly about the subliminal. Question, comment, discuss, create art, and let art create you. As much as this space is an extension of me, it is also a projection of everything life could be, should be, was, and is. I'll be unsure sometimes, remarkable other times, lighthearted often, and raw always. Ultimately, I aim to use the bareness of my words to unveil the world in which I've been embedded in. The question of who I am is still being answered. But what I've consistently noticed in my being so far is joie de vivre, the desire to seek out more of what I do not know, and the eagerness to exist at the nexus of everything that piques my interest. I love language in all its forms, spoken, unspoken, and what is heard from the essence of places, people, and things. I am Anitan, person of story. And what I wish is to fulfill the fate that lies within the name I bear. Join me on this journey, and together, we can live deliberately, chase our curiosities, and meet ourselves on our own terms. Also wanted to add that I'm very beautiful. I'm very beautiful. Okay, my skin's glowing. My hair kind of looks like that, was it the burger baby? Is it burger? Jer Gerber? Gerber? 
child, the baby with the soup. Yeah, that's me. Just wanted to add that, you know, because I must admire myself at every moment.